Okay, um, so for anybody who knows about the new um, Mother Brain stand-up glitch manipulation thing, uh, we were calling it Two Cries. Um, their behemoth found what appears to be a more consistent setup. Um, so we've spent some time figuring that out, and I just want to make a quick uh, update video on it and explain how it works. Um, <clears throat> essentially, it involves a crouch jump, uh, an angle up crouch jump, but it needs to be timed later than uh, the the original setup from a couple days ago. So uh, you can see here that Samus is crouched, right? Um, there's a couple different ways that you can do this, but essentially she needs to jump, I think it's six frames after, um, after the foot touches down like this, okay? Uh, not not exactly six frames. It's it's actually a seven frame window instead of a four frame window. Um, but at, at the earliest, I think it was actually five plus frames after the foot touches down like this. So what we can do is we can um, either just kind of vaguely wait a short period of time and then um, turn and jump or just jump and then do the rest of the actions, or you can do a double turn. Um, <clears throat> since it is a, a seven frame window, uh, that gives us some leniency in um, the, the, the different ways that we can buffer stuff. Anyway, this is actually, this is a task. This is a task uh, that I did, and I'm just playing the video back. I'm gonna scrub back and forth to explain the different parts. Uh, but this task does a double turn. You don't have to do a double turn if that's too too complex for for you or it's too hard to do quickly or whatever. Um, but essentially, so we're going to see Samus turn here, okay? And then she's going to turn back. And then um, out of the second turn, she jumps. Uh, from there, you would need to release, angle up, and hold down, okay? And she will aim down. You need to make sure that you do that before Samus is anywhere above Mother Brain's head, um, because the the short of it is that um, the time that Samus spends above Mother Brain's head is going to manip the head into a different position, and so we need to make sure that we're not doing hitbox changes or or whatever during that time. Okay, so <clears throat> you want to be aiming down when you hit the ceiling. Okay. And then on your way back down, as you pass below Mother Brain's head right here, you want to morph so that you're in ball. And then you want to be holding jump still so that you buffer a spring ball back up to the ceiling. From there, you have, um, depending on when your first jump was, uh, you have anywhere from a six a nine frame window to unmorph after Samus starts falling from the ceiling. So this frame would be the first frame that she could unmorph on. You can't see it, but I have a comparison on, on another, another side that shows her unmorphing earlier. Um, this would be the first frame that she could unmorph on. And that is the last frame that she can unmorph on. Now, if I move back here, this is actually a pretty good visual cue. See these dots here in the background? So you don't want to unmorph any later than Samus passing those dots as she's falling, okay? <clears throat> so um, yeah, you do the unmorph and then you just drop down and that's a minute. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna scrub back and forth we're going to talk about each part again. So we start off here. Mother Brain's foot. This is what we're watching. It's going to hit the floor and the back wall at the same time. You need to time a jump sometime after this occurs. Uh, you can do that with a with a buffered angle up turn jump. You can do one turn or two turns, depending on how long you wait. 
This is the last. Sorry, I should have specified this earlier. This task was the last possible frame that the first jump can occur. So you see that the jump is occurring here. This is the first the first frame that the jump is occurring on. And then, you know, she ends up in the air here. Um, this jump input can happen anytime here or it, it was either six or seven frames before this this example. OK, um, <clears throat> so anyway, sorry, I, I realize this is kind of disjointed, but I just really wanted to get something out about this this new setup. So you turn, you can do two turns if you want jump, aim down, keep aiming down, hit the ceiling, keep aiming down. You're holding jump this whole time. Morph, continue holding jump. Samus will bounce. She'll hit the ceiling. She'll start to fall, and then you can unmorph um, using these dots as a visual cue. Okay, So just make sure that you're unmorphing before she passes those dots. You'll be good to go. Anyway, that is Behemoth's Two Cries uh, setup, and I hope that helps.